Peter, your former boss, Mr Howard, he used to say you uh, you can't fatten the pig on market day. Do you, do you think that Peter Dutton's starting, starting to uh, put a bit of detail where he needs to when it comes to policy? Uh, Absolutely. I think he's been extremely shrewd in the issues he's picked up on and nuclear power. Not that that in itself is going to win an election, but it, it feeds into the, the, the re renewable industry inefficiency and high costs. And now he's tackling housing. The mood's cranky, Kieran. We all know that. It's going to take a lot for a government to be re-elected in its own right. Um, notwithstanding, there's a long way to go and, and many of the old analysis and idioms of politics are out the window anyway. So both sides have every opportunity from here on in to, to win over at the next election. Of course, incumbency gives you uh, the edge or the, or the favoured status. So... Uh, Dutton is shrewd, he's clever, he's picking up on the right issues and it's fertile ground mm. for an opposition leader. Yeah, indeed it is. As you, as you said, when people are, are cranky, there are a few things that can shift, though, if rates start to come down, if, they are, if the Treasury was right in terms of its projections. The one thing I picked up as well in this poll that was interesting, Simon, is that not only... Um, I think Peter's right that Peter Dutton is finding... Uh, that mojo as opposition leader. But Anthony Albanese is back to neutral territory. You know, his approval rating, he's consolidated, he's regrouped since the voice referendum. Yeah, he has, because he's basically returned to those bread and butter issues that voters are most concerned about and which the ultimate election, uh, you know, will be fought on. And I think one of the issues for Peter Dutton is that he's, he's picking the right issues. I mean, there's no doubt that housing is a big issue out there in the electorate and people are focused on it. But as everyone with any kind of interest in actually finding a genuine solution to the problem says, we need supply side solutions. We need to actually just go out there and build more houses. And of course, Peter Dutton opposes the government's policies that are designed to do that. And on the flip side, one of his biggest policies, which is you know, using, allowing you to use your superannuation for housing, will just inflate house prices. Now, that's what all of the experts, all the economists agree on. So I give him credit for picking the right issue. The, his big problem is that he hasn't actually got the solutions that Australians need. Dan Tian, the Shadow Immigration Minister, is going to join me shortly. Peter McGoran, is there some concern around higher education in relation to the Coalition's strategy on this one? Um, certainly, you have to be very aware of the economic and cultural importance of international students, but there are still those critical issues of housing, infrastructure, congestion and so on. So we've got to strike the balance. The universities will push in one direction uh, and we've got to find the equilibrium. That, Simon, is something that would resonate with a lot of voters. No, it will, but I think the issue here, for example, you've got a government which is saying to the university sector, look, you've got to, if you want to bring more people in, you've got to build more housing in order to look after them. That seems a pretty reasonable compromise. Peter Dutton's basically saying that he's going to effectively gut the international education sector and that's going to mean a loss of jobs, a loss of productivity, a loss of economic growth and a loss of tax all out of the back of all of that. And with his migration changes, again, like I don't think he's thought through the detail. I mean, it's fine for him to say, for example, he's going to protect bringing tradies in to build more houses. But big shortages we've got across the care economy, like nurses, doctors, aged care workers and the like. And he's basically waving the white flag on all of those. So if you want to go and see a doctor, if you want to go into a hospital and have a procedure done, uh, I think any Australian who's wandered into one of our public or private hospitals over the last couple of years knows that we're very dependent upon that foreign workforce coming in. So where's Peter Dutton going to get those workers from when Australians need them? Simon, thank you very much. Peter McGoran, we'll see you next week.